very important for people to like take a step back and like remember okay so hey friends karibuni tena sana to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing amazing if you're new here welcome to the family thank you so much for joining us my name is Steffa. I'm the mother of the friends. You know, the wife's already period. So, as you guys can see from the title of the video, this is going to be my 2020 recap. And even before we continue, by the time you guys see this, it will already be 2021. So, happy new year! Yes! You made it through 2020. How do you survive? And that's a period you're here and that's what matters i'm so so happy i'm so so excited for this new year i really don't know what it is <laughs> you'd think after 2020 you'd be like relax you never know what the year has in store for you but nonetheless i'm really just happy to be here to be alive you know there are so many people when we think about it who we crossed over 2020 to 2020s and they are not with us anymore you know rest their souls in peace but you're here and you made it and you're breathing and you're well so that's a period Ciao. anyways <laughs> today by the way friends i really like my makeup today like today my makeup said for all this as in today i'm going to share this routine that i did today but today the makeup is looking beat the more girl is looking tantalizing and that's a period so, without further much ado, let us get right into this video. 2020 has really been a year. I know as much as so much has happened this year, there's still so much to be grateful for. And I and I saw so many people do the, the 2020 recap on their stories, but I was like, do you know what, babes? I could actually make this into a video. So, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. So yeah, so let's start. So my 2020s, I've actually written everything that has happened this year or majority of like what has happened this year on my notebook, on my notebook. So my January started like almost any other January. I mean, one, I remember was back to school. I think we opened around maybe the second week of January. And yeah, I was excited because that was, it, it marked the beginning of the end of my, um, second year in uni uh so that was my last semester as a sophomore and i was like you know when i think about it i still remember then and i'm just like where has time gone because i was like i've already been in uni for two years which is crazy considering we just finished school the other day so <laughs> you know so that was my january i remember i also had gotten uh four locks done the temporary ones the temporary dreads i had had them done and they were done by my girl amanda let me tell you friend i rocked that hair eh? i rocked that hair choy i was really tantalized with that hair by the way and i remember even by the time i was putting it i just needed a change but i and i always wanted to try something new and i think that's one thing I've, I've loved about myself and continue to do so is that i'm never i i'm always ready to try out new stuff you know so those temporary dreads served me babes i rocked them for like five months hi <laughs> so yeah and then um so the month just progressed i also did my first collab that was like my first collab in terms of like makeup and stuff and i did it with vanessa vanessa she's on her instagram she's called the atika Prince talent that's a girl can like i have seen her do looks this year and i'm just like chill me wow just wow so yeah, that was my first collab with her and yeah i'm go I'm also going to be inserting like photos and pictures and like short videos for you guys to see so yes, i did my first collab with her and i remember it did really really well on my page at that time and then on the 31st of january you know the man's already the queen love is girl was born that was actually my birthday so shout out to all the january babies so yeah on the 1st of January, I turned 20, which is insane. Friends, I remember my CG 14th, 13th birthday. And to think so many years have passed, you know, since I walked this up, <laughs> it's crazy, you know. So, and then I remember I wanted to do something special, but I wasn't too sure how or what I wanted to do. 
so that's when i think um by the time my birthday was reaching though i had really known what i was going to do i remember i did a i did a like a, i hosted some of my close friends you know kina shailene jambi kinsi karana revi like some people who are not new to my channel if you've been watching me for a while so yeah um i had my birthday they came home there was food there was drinks hey yo it was a beautiful beauty i looked cute i looked tantalizing that day so that was basically my january i genuinely loved my the, the month of january it was very you know grateful it was very much fun and yeah so we got into february and i think february is when i started creating style content i think that's when i did like like a video for the white shirt absolutely so cringy when i watch it right now i'm just like you <laughs> but yeah i started creating style content around february and i also think another highlight for the month of february was when i got to do the self-love campaign with joanna k in fact i'm just from watching that video and i'm like wow who is like it's crazy to think how the person that you are at a particular time and now feel like two very different people okay so that was the month of february and then the month of march i remember the month of march at the time i wasn't really at, at a very good place but i was like i was okay you know i was just we were just moving you know so i remember for the month of march around maybe around end of the month of march of february the end of february beginning of march i went to all pajeta for the first time and why i really like that trip so much is because i'm not gonna lie I went solo like I only knew two people and even these two people that I knew I had actually one person and even this one person that I knew I had never met her too physically so yeah I remember that trip was organized by Rapunzel, Gabrielle and Oribe Expeditions it was an amazing trip by the way because yeah one that I went alone I had invited I had invited my friends I had invited my current boyfriend I had invited Yanni I had asked people to come with me and unfortunately for that specific day nobody was available i was like one thing or not i will go i will go so yeah i remember even on that trip i learned so much about myself by the way and it was so nice you know it was also very refreshing to um meet so many new people and stuff but it's also very scary to be going with a bunch of people you don't even know i was like <laughs> But anyways that trip was so 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 much fun you know i really really enjoyed my time and then in march i had the collab with wahura shout out to you wahura i have absolutely always loved that babe by the way i am like her number one stan so even the fact that she agreed to come to this channel and collab i was wow you know so yeah we talked about content creation what we've learned our experiences it was a really really nice video by the way so yeah and then now towards the end of march is when um of course the uh covid now was like a thing thing here in kenya and it, it has started to hit hard in kenya and i think we had like the first case or like the first few cases and then now schools you know the president announced for the schools to be closed and i remember um for us i remember he had announced about schools being closed and then it was like primary schools on monday high schools on tuesday and then tertiary and like colleges universities by friday so I remember for your you that actually said we close on friday and then it was on tuesday we were told yeah leave the school get out so yeah i remember that day friends i decided to go to town with my girl kinsey worst decision we ever made we went on tuesday and that tuesday was when everyone let me tell you everyone was coming to nairobi you know so that everyone can now go home especially uh high school kids hi <laughs> i have never seen that many people in my life in cbd i was shocked to the getting to town from school took us like two three hours hey that was the worst decision i made to go to town on that one day when everyone else was going to town so yeah so now when um the announcement was made for schools to be closed people also started flying back to the country and my sister we hadn't seen my sister anymore for like a year and a few months so yeah so she came back and it was very interesting for being honest because she had to be like in quarantine and stuff and we couldn't like you know how you've not seen someone in a while but then you just can't say hi you know it was a very foreign concept honestly to be seeing someone in their room for a whole 14 days not leaving it was mad you know 
so yeah um what else happened in march and then now march uh the month of march and april was now that transition from uh, physical learning to online and let me tell you i remember for me me i felt it hard because me i've always i had never experienced online learning at any one point in my life so i remember i found it a bit difficult first of all being attentive that thing of staying in the house all day every day and also i think what was even more overwhelming for me and i think also other students experienced it is was i think it's the fact that once we moved learning to home lecturers were like right you're really not doing anything you know what i mean we were being overloaded with work group work assignments projects exams hi <laughs> it was tough i remember for me march to april it was still for tough for me okay so i remember in april is when i also had the first i i had my first ig takeover and this was at the joanna k cosmetics page and i remember friends i remember sitting in this room and hi my heart my twigs I have never been so scared to do something like that but i was so so scared but it turned out um really well i also created a really cute you know simple look but i remember at the beginning of that life i was sweating my hey <laughs> i was scared i was scared so yeah also i think in april i also had my first uh, i also worked with a brand at the time called twiva so that was like a good uh, learning experience uh creating content for a brand and i was very new to this whole creating content for brands and what they want and this and that so yeah then in may uh, may my highlight was um May was actually a very uh, good month for me. I was I was really in the creative spaces. I mean, I was really the creative juices were flowing within. You know, we were within in May. That was the time I remember. I was like, right, we need to bump up my creativity, create more looks. Also in April, by the way, I remember April was more of me creating, you know, and creating content and stuff. So in May, uh, I participated in the Merimeta Africa Challenge. So you were supposed to create a look based on an album and that challenge. Wow. Like I saw, hey, people are talented. Yeah, those people kind of, I don't know what some of their faces. So I remember for me, I did, um, my inspiration came from the album from, you know, the queen, Beyonce, the gift. Um, this was the look that I created. I actually really, really liked this look. It really pushed me out of my um, comfort zone, also in terms of like editing and all that. And I remember it was also at the time, that, yeah, I started venturing into doing more creative videos and not just like the normal 60 second tutorials and we're out. So yeah, and then in May, we also hit 5K subscribers. I remember when I hit 5k I was so happy I was so so excited I was beyond the moon and it's crazy to think that that was just like a few months ago so that's what's up and then in June June I remember June I was also creating content I remember I think I created I recreated fits from the show friends I also really really liked creating that type of content I had my second takeover uh, and this one I did with my girl Audrey Ogambo she has amazing amazing makeup so yeah I created uh we did an IG takeover for Joanna K Cosmetics, which was a, a, a fun experience because for me now that was my second time and at this point I was I was I was breathing, I was more relaxed, I was calm. So yeah, that was really really fun. And then we had my first feature, and this was in the Pulse magazine done by Kayla Okari. And yeah, I think it was called Make Step Up or something. So I was so so excited. That was my first feature in the newspaper. Cha cha! <laughs> I was over the moon. I was like, this is it. Period. So yeah, Kayla, if you're watching this, thank you so so much. And yeah, that was like my first feature, and I was so so excited. And yeah, and then unfortunately things took a turn for the worst. Is it for the worst? For the worst? I don't know. But June, 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 I was struggling. June, July, I was struggling. My mental health was in the pits. I remember breaking down so many times. It was it was beyond. You know what I mean? So 
yeah also at the time i had not i had had like a not so good experience with a brand which absolutely crushed me so yeah june july we was in the pits we were struggling so yeah i remember um at the time i remember i took out the locks that i had i just had some knotless braids i also renovated my studio and my room yani i just wanted a change because i was hey school was becoming overwhelming and then my not so good experience and then yani things were just going south and i remember wow there were days friends i was crying almost every day which was sad but anyways we move then in the month of august some light came and i remember in august what happened oh in august i started working with 25th life cosmetics one of my most favorite um work uh one of my most favorite people that i worked with it was so much fun by the way we did the green screen challenge we got so much traction so many people have shared so many people saved it it was it was so much fun at the time so yeah in august i also got to work with justin and johnson at this time my creative spirits were you know we were we were now within we were now within so yeah so um in august also in the month of may to july yeah may to august now i had just started my first year i mean i just started my uh my third year now as a junior and yeah i'm actually my junior year ends next year in january like january to Friday, and then after that i'm a senior where is time going and yeah i also got to work with ithaga apparel they're the ones who sent me like the cute the, the the denim jeans which was which is actually one of my favorite reels and i also think at the time is when reels had just started you know popping so yeah i jumped on it like you know and then yeah so the month of may to august i was my first uh, semester as a uh, junior as a third year so yeah the workload i remember for last 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 time was something that may to august i remember i had projects and but you know we move and I, I had projects it was difficult but it wasn't as difficult as this semester that just ended this semester that just ended by week two i was done i was like yo i'm out you know so that was the month of august for me yeah and then i also got to work with liabella and yeah labella brushes i have a code by the way stephanie 101 get you some coin oh so yeah so i was able to work with labella and it was also such a good learning experience so yeah and then of course at the end of august i decided to cut my hair so i did the big chop i cut my hair and i colored my hair so i dyed my hair uh, copper brown and then yeah so that's when um around now the end of august is now when i started afresh with my hair and stuff and even by the time i was cutting it i was also not like really in the best of places so again i needed a change you know that's one thing about me i always need a change and i'm always like always just want something new so yeah so september now september i was you know i think i'd taken like a short break and then september i i came back with content i started creating content and then my favorite favorite was the scarf challenge ke that uh, i did in collaboration with nizarline and let me tell you the support i got from scarf challenge ke was astronomical i was like how you know what i mean i was wow it was so so many looks i think the last time i checked there were over 300 posts under the scarf challenge ke like that thing i saw so many people create looks i discovered so many makeup artists so many makeup creatives and let me tell you friends i had reached out to almost any person who does makeup in kenya i had sent messages and dms because i just wanted to see many people hop on this challenge and create looks and they did you know y'all did what you got to do you know y'all did what you did y'all gave what you gave and to this day by the way i am like elated you know so i think it 
it was also in September that I got featured for the True Love magazine for their September issue. And wow. Let me tell you, I'm not even going to lie. This last quarter of the year, God showed up and showed out. By the way, from September, things have been happening and I'm just like, wow. 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 You know, I think it was also in September. Uh... I can't really remember when we hit 6k subscribers. I think it was around August, September is when we hit 6k subscribers. So yeah, and the family is still growing. So please don't stop. No, keep joining. You're welcome, I know. So yeah, so in September, the True Love magazine feature for me was everything, by the way. That interview, shout out to you, Stacey Chebet. I Again, for that interview, I was scared actually let me tell you what happened so initially i had been, they had reached out to me i think in august no i think no they had reached out to me early early september and then again it was um i don't know what happened and then um i was told the future unfortunately couldn't be done and then they reached out to me again and they were like sorry the future is going to be done and i was i was so excited because i remember when the time they called it off i was crushed i was like oh my gosh but then i was like you know what it's okay it will come eventually and it did come in the same month so i was so so happy and so so excited and yeah uh so that was in september the true love magazine and then in october almost immediately after that i got reached out to by um, a lady who worked at nation and this was for her stargaz uh, feature in the Saturday Nation paper and yeah, I got my My third feature and Honestly, I couldn't even believe it because to be honest I was like the fact that you even want to write <laughs> about me Ray. Joey. Ooh, I was like <laughs> We're going up <laughs> Period. So yeah, and then also in October um, We had that and then on October. I think this happens to be a video that i have i think that was the one video i put any everything so i worked with a brand called castle beauty and i'm going to insert it's the try challenge so if you've been on my page and i'm sure you've seen it and that i remember when she sent me the try challenge videos i was like how the hell what the hell are we gonna do now because i remember literally telling my sister you know, imagine i can't do what she's she sent me but i put myself to the challenge and i did it and up to now i think that is the one video that has gotten the most likes and reshares and saves on the whole of my feed so i'm forever grateful and then also in october i had an amazing time i went and met um some creatives we had the creatives lunch which honestly was it was so refreshing to hear from other creatives to speak to people in person get to meet people in person and yeah that was like another highlight of october and then for the month of november i think for the month of november majority of which the semester was coming to an end so i was catching up with schoolwork and projects and all of that and yeah november was more of me creating content even for myself a lot of it was of myself i remember i wanted to do something for the longest time and that was the picnic shoot and yeah i actually really really liked the photos that came out and then i also got to work with uh bandari beauty and uh the junction mall the november campaign which to me was a big success for me that was actually like one of the biggest gigs that i ever did and yeah i think even by the time i was getting the email i was like wow i i honestly didn't expect it so yeah i worked on the november campaign and then of course i went on uh, a dinner a very cute romantic candlelit dinner about time was everything by the way and that video actually has gotten so much love so shout out to you guys so if you by the way shout out to julie julie is the one who miss guru she's the one who recommended for me to try it so yeah that was my november and then my december i got to work with tcb naturals i had been wanting to work with them for a while so i was elated when it happened and then i also went on my first staycation imagine <laughs> okay of course with the way the year was going i really didn't have a team much 
time or space to even you know get to go but Markel suits was everything for me that is one place i am going back this year 2021 and then um i also hosted my girlies for a picnic with picnics by jockey by the way shout out to everyone who has reached out to her so many people um i think made inquiries and also had her host their picnics so yeah i really appreciated that when i plug you guys with something you guys go and just say step all i saw step all these i saw you know so yeah it means a lot to me as it means to her so yeah and then of course celebrating christmas with my family and stuff and yeah doing this recap meant so much to me because a lot of the times i think we often you can sometimes start thinking how this year really nothing has happened for you but i think the fact that i actually sat down and wrote all of these things all of these good things and also the breakdowns and the, the highs and the lows of this year of the past year which is 2020 have taught me so much about myself i have grown so much in terms of even how i cope with emotions how i cope with stress i have grown so much in terms of my content which is something that has always been so close to my heart you know and yeah and even when i think about like how far i have come i don't even know why i'm getting emotional but woo, i think um it's very important for people to like take a step back and like remember the far that you have come hi yo we weren't supposed to <laughs> okay so yeah so i do hope that you also take your time and you do your own 2020 recap of course at your own time remember the highs remember the lows re-witness everything and yeah i am personally wishing you guys um happy happy 2021 i'm praying for love i'm praying for money i'm praying for peace i'm praying for joy i'm praying for you know better friendships you know better grades at school you get that promotion at work your babies grow older but you know what i mean i'm just praying for people to be happier and i know this 2020 has been rough for all of us in one way or another trust me it hit home at, at some point so yeah this is to wish you guys a prosperous 2021 be in your back literally you know um and of course don't forget to have fun and of course take care and be safe honestly i'm also praying that this is the year covid decides to bounce because <laughs> she has overstayed she has overwhelmed herself you have prolonged your stay and you can't stop out you know so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe also don't forget to turn the notifications on to get notifications every time your girl uploads until next time bye